at the break when we do the first exercise, you may need to grab a program called SQLite. You can do it with the SIGWIT installer. It's pretty small. SQLite is the smallest useful database program around. It was deliberately designed to be small enough that you could fit it onto a cell phone. Now, some databases are huge things. DB2 is about 15 million lines of code, and that's just the core engine. The add-ons probably double that. It's, it's huge. There are literally thousands of people at IBM whose only job is to work on that software. That's at the very high end. At the low end, if you have an Android phone, you've got SQLite on it because that's what manages the address book. The simplest possible database that people would actually use. So, I'm going to fire it up at the command line. I'm going to say SQLite. I'm using version 3. I want to create a database called students.db. And it says, okay. Now, right away, it has created an empty file on disk called students.db. There's no data in it yet. Okay. If I quit out of that prompt, oh, haven't put any data, hasn't actually created the file yet. So, let me just make sure I'm going to get the syntax right. Yep. Sorry, there we go. Great table, right? So, let's call students.db. Create table people. Okay. Uh, what sort of properties do people have? A face? Okay, let's stick with textual properties for now. We're going to start small and simple, okay? We're going to, we're going to drive the bicycle before we do, you know, the Ducati out on the highway. Okay? Age. Age. Okay. Okay. I know, I know. Greg is boring. Yeah. So, create table people. Um, gender is text. MRF. Name is text. Age is... Ah, let's just stick with that. Gender and name. Okay? If I do dot schema, it says you've created a table in which you're recording gender and name. So, insert into people the values... <coughs> Uh, Lady Gaga, insert into people, values, male, Bob Dylan. Okay? So now I can say, let us select name and gender from people. This, creating and inserting data, we will mostly ignore this morning. We're going to assume, just because we've got to start somewhere, that somebody else has created a database and what you want to do is pull data out of it. But you can see that creating a table to store your information in is pretty simple. I want to create a table. That's what it's called. It's going to have a column for gender, which is a text, and it's going to have a column for name, which is a text. I have to tell it what type of data is being stored in each column. But databases are made up of tables, and tables are rectangular. They have columns, which is what information am I storing for each record, and then they've got rows, which are the individual records. It's exactly what you would put into a lined lab notebook. Right? Person 1, address, phone number, name. Person 2, address, phone number, name, and so forth. Okay? Every record has exactly the same shape. It's got the same fields. We write them down in some order, but the database doesn't necessarily store them in any particular order. It's got the columns. We write them in an order. It'll always display them in the same order we wrote them, but there's really no sense of it being the first column or the second column or the third column. They have to have distinct names. It sounds like <coughs> keys in a dictionary. Right? And then I've got a bunch of records, and every record has a value for each of those columns. The data's rectangular. 